Okay, so after you have set up the advertisement, the next step is to generate the keyword list. Okay, the success and failure depends on this keyword list. So I'm going to teach you in depth how you're going to generate at least 1000 keywords using this tool that I'm going to introduce. We are going to use the Google Keyword Planner tool. A lot of people may have already using this tool, but I'm going to add on some of the things that uh, some of you may not know. And we are not going to just rely on the Bing Ads uh, suggestion. We are going to include the phrase and exact match in this keyword tool so that we can add up to more than 1000 keywords to give you a more stable uh, source of traffic. Okay, so now let me show you how to do that. So I need you to go to Google and type in Google Keyword Planner tool, enter. Click on the first result. Click sign in. You can just sign in using your Gmail. Okay, so once you sign in, click on this one and type in the keyword that you are targeting. For me right now, this example is eczema, so I'm going to type in eczema and the country select United States United States add okay and click get ideas okay good so now you can see that there's a keyword ideas tab here click on the keyword ideas and i want you to sort the list according to average monthly searches just just click on this header okay now you can see that these are all the keywords that are people searching in google and relating to eczema so you can see that the list includes all over 800 keywords and you can download the list here. So what we are going to do right now is that before we download the list and put it into the Bing ads, I want you to identify negative keywords here and remove them. Okay, what I mean by negative keywords is that you will definitely identify some keywords that is not advantage or not beneficial to the, to your advertisement. Because I'm selling eczema cure product, so I'm looking for people who are looking for eczema cure or eczema treatment. So if I were to look at the keyword, and let me give you an example. For example, this keyword, what is? So it means that uh, this person when he's searching what is eczema, maybe they just want to find out more about eczema. So this may not be a target keyword that I'm targeting for my advertisement so i want to remove this keyword so what i go going to do is that you will notice that there's a negative keywords option here click on the pencil icon and in the negative keywords you can just put in what and click away so it will remove the what is okay i'm going to scroll down further how to treat eczema all this you can see there is a very very targeted keyword which is very good for your advertisement causes of eczema causes may not be a keyword that i want so i will include that as well okay eczema so this is the first page i can go and go on to view on the second page to see whether there are anything that I want to remove okay looks so good okay eczema types I'm not interested in advertising to people who search for eczema types so I'm just going to enter types sorry for it to remove all the keywords with types inside okay so you get the idea so I need you to scroll through at least for the first 5 to 10 page to remove all the negative keywords and you will be left with about 600 or 700 keywords after that you click download download this keyword save file okay and just save in your local drive 
Let's see my keywords. Okay. So right now, if you open up the keywords, you can see beside the keywords, there are other information which you may not need. So I'm going to delete all these keywords. I delete all the option only left with these keywords okay so right now I'm going to select select all these keywords and I've already prepared a cell file for you because the Excel file contain a special code that can generate phrase and exact match because this list alone it will not be enough to give you the targeted and the amount of traffic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Excel file that I have. Okay, so I will make this Excel file available for you to download at the sidebar. So right now I'm going to paste in the keywords here. Okay, I'm going to paste in the keywords here. Okay, now you can see that all the keywords have been pasted here. And this second and third column, I've already input some uh, formula so that you will include this special character here. So let me zoom in for you to take a look. Okay, this is known as phrase match. This is known as exam match. So I'm going to expand this list also by double click so now i have three rows of keywords with different matching types and what i need to do right now is to input all these keywords into my bing advertisement so each has about 800 so total i have just less than 2400 keywords for me to target for the bing and yahoo user okay so right now i'm going to my Bing Ads account okay so this is my Bing Ads account click on Azima click on the keywords Okay, now you only have one keyword, so I'm going to add keywords and we're going to paste here. But please take note that Bing uh, website won't be able to take 2,400 keywords at one time. So you need to paste in 100 at a time. So you just paste in 100, click add, then after it save, then repeat again, then add, then save. Okay, so let me show you how to do that first. So for example, for I'll start from this column, I'll select 100. So it takes a while, but I can definitely tell you that the effort is worth it. Now I'm going to paste here and click add. Okay, so once you see the list here, you can click save. for this you just click cancel <clears throat> okay so now you can see the list is 100 keywords but now um, I'm not going to do all the 2400 keywords so for you I just need you to repeat the process by clicking this add keywords again then repeat the steps 100 100 100 until you get all the 2400 keywords here on this list okay and after you have done that, there's another step I need you to do, which is select all the keywords here by clicking this chat box. And you see this? Select all rows on all pages. Your number should be 2000 plus or 1000 plus, depending on the how many uh, the three columns keywords add up together. So click on this one, so that you want to select all the keywords. After selecting all the keywords, you can see that the current bid is not 18 cents that I put it in, because Bing Ads will by default put in the keywords according to their own recommendation so I don't want you to do that so just select all the keywords make sure you select all the keywords and click this edit 
go down to change current bits and click apply by clicking apply leaving this blank it will automatically set all the keywords to 18 cent so this is our processing okay it will take some time especially if we have 1000 2000 keywords okay now take a look so now all my keywords is only 18 cents so with these keywords i'm now ready to activate my bing ads okay now but there's one more thing just one more thing before you go and activate just click on ads when you click on ads you can see that right now i only have one advertisement running it's always a very good practice to have another one advertisement running so i'm going to click create ad and i'm going to do split testing because with two advertisements running at the same time i can see after one week which one is performing poorer i can delete that one and do another one okay so for now i just need you to think of another title for this advertisement okay just change the title so it means that you have two advertisement description the same the title different so we can test which one works better so for this I will just put in get rate of eczema and then I click save so you can see they have two advertisement one is get rid of eczema one is how to cure eczema okay now I'm already ready to activate my advertisement so click add groups and now you need to activate the campaign by clicking on the campaigns you can see the pause here so you mouse over click and click enable so right now you will start to run so after today tomorrow you can log in here and check out the performance how many people have clicked how many people have purchased the product um, in my experience it takes about 100 clicks to buy a product initially so you need to find out um, what are the keywords that people have been clicking on if you find those keywords not so relevant you remove those keywords so we will fine tune along the way in the next video i'll teach you how to fine tune uh, exactly but for now your advertisement is set to go